This is the state of our office. This is from... To my future husband, crying so much. We have an exciting package today. I have been leaving a lot of wedding planning things to the very last minute. Our wedding is literally in two weeks and we just got Paul's tuxedo um, rental delivered and I still have not gotten my veils delivered. Our wedding bands are almost going to be late so I'm hoping that they come in time and I've just been doing everything super last minute because I've been really busy and now I'm regretting it because it stresses me out even more but anyways the tuxedo is here it is from generation tux i'm gonna have paul try on his tuxedo now make sure everything fits and if not we're gonna have to order some replacements and hope it all just comes in time by next week at the very latest uh and i'll see how it goes you ready <laughs> Why? You look good! Really? That's weird. I'm gonna fix you. Stop! If you do that, it looks like that! I <laughs> act like a groom! <laughs> Wait, it looks good. I don't know why you're being so weird. <laughs> Hello. A little update on wedding planning. We have nine days left until the wedding and I am breaking out. I have like stress pimples all over my face and it is stressing me out and causing more stress pimples. But this is the state of our office right now. <laughs> so I have some candles here, a bunch of alcohol and more candles here. Um, we're actually going to go over and bring these candles to our friend's house so that we can all help empty these old candles because right now they are a mess. I can't really use these. I got a few here um, actually from one of my followers on Instagram. They were so nice. She was like an ex-florist and so she had a bunch of candles lying around and so she gave me some to use for my wedding. So thank you so much, Sally.
I got a bunch of new packages today related to the wedding. I got my veil today. I got my wedding bands earlier this week. And I just got a huge package for my bridesmaids gifts. I am going to pack their little goodie bags now. And I'll show you guys everything that I'm including in there. Um, I'm really excited for them to open it up. All right. A couple things I'm including in their little day of gift box. These little get ready ropes from Birdie Gray. And it has like roughly ends and I thought they were really cute. And then I have these little indoor slippers that honestly the quality is really good. I got a white pair for myself and they're super comfortable. I'm actually gonna just keep them and wear it in the house afterwards. And this is from Dear Foams and it just went with the robe really well. Also got them a pair of earrings. These are like a mini drop pearl earring. These are from a U Jewelry. They are one of my favorite jewelry brands ever. I wear their jewelry all the time and so I'll have all the information for everything that I'm including down in my description box. And this would actually pair really perfectly with the necklace that they're all going to be wearing on the wedding day as well. If you guys watched my vlogs like a year ago when I was proposing to my bridesmaids, um, I gave them all a pearl necklace from a U Jewelry and wanted them to wear like matching earrings and necklaces on the wedding day and so I think this would be really cute. I am also going to pack in a blowfish because these things honestly work so well. It's basically just caffeine and aspirin but it's formulated in a way where it's gentle on your stomach and so if you wake up with a hangover the next morning, you take one of these in water as soon as you wake up and your hangover is gone. Like. If you have a headache, if you're feeling slightly queasy, it is gone. So I wanted to get them a blowfish for the day after because we are having an open bar and I want them to drink without thinking about the consequences of the next day. I just printed out these little gift labels from Canva and I knew I was going to go crazy trying to cut it straight into a perfect rectangle. So instead I just kind of freehand cut it and I think it's kind of cute. I'm just gonna like poke a little hole on the side, put a ribbon through it, and then wrap up all of their gifts this way. I finished wrapping up all my gifts and I'm actually so proud of how it came out. It's so cute. Yay! Day, I just got my hair toned by Juhi and I was 30 minutes late because I underestimated Monday morning traffic. I left the house at like 7.15 a.m. and I thought I would get to Beverly Hills by like 8.45 because that's what my app told me. But as I'm driving, the estimated time would keep increasing and so I ended up getting to Juhi's by like 9.30 a.m. and so she just toned my hair, dried it, and she didn't have time to style it. I am on my way to go get a facial right now. I am going to Dermalogica and hoping to fix up my skin. I've been using this like 2% salicylic acid spot treatment and I think I overdid it because my skin started peeling and cracking because I think I low-key damaged my skin barrier. And I'm hoping that this facial today is going to help my skin more and fix this mess before this Friday. I just got the best facial ever. <laughs> I did some exfoliation, I did a lot of hydration, 
I also did um, like light UV light therapy and like microcurrent. That thing was really cool. And my face just feels so like hydrated and nice. And uh, man, I am addicted to facials. I want to get one every month. So as long as I do not get more new breakouts, I should be good for the wedding. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? <laughs> we need to practice this. <laughs> What's wrong? Stop. Okay. Oof. You mean I'm kissed a bride? No. It's natural. <laughs> You're still like this. <laughs> you may now kiss the bride. And we can go like, but you have to lean. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and we now kiss the bride. And now we stand and walk. That's your first time, Mr. and Mrs. Kim. And then we'll walk and then we pause. Do a kiss again. How do people dip people? <laughs> oh, I know. Like this? It is, it okay, is. <laughs> it is Wednesday, August 24th, and I'm getting married in two days. I've been so busy, I haven't had time to sit down and think about my vows. Paul and I are going to exchange vows privately um, during our first look. And I don't know where to start, but I thought I would try opening this letter that I found. I wrote it in 2013, February 10, 2013, to my future husband and it's been sealed. I haven't read it since I wrote it and I have no idea what I wrote in here, but maybe this could give me a good start. It's funny because in 2013, we were already dating, um, but I wrote this letter not using his name or anything. It just because I don't think I thought we would be getting married at 2013. 13. Like that was two years, one year, two years into our relationship. To my future husband. <laughs> okay, let me read some of it. To my future husband. Hi, it's your wife at age 15. I hope I got married, and I hope I'm a good mother and wife. I know at my age right now, I am expecting a lot for my future children and wedding. I love weddings, and I hope I had the perfect wedding. Anyways, I hope I don't nag you too much, and that we don't fight often. I hope I have a solid job and relationships. Right now, I am in a relationship with Paul. One more month, and it's been two years, and we talk about the future a lot. Is this Paul? Even if it's not, don't worry. I'm only 15, lol. I love you and will love you unconditionally. <laughs> I love you as unto my future husband who is not Paul. I hope your parents like me and my parents like you and that we both keep in touch with family and old friends often. I hope we have a friendly best friend kind of relationship where we can talk about anything and talk for hours and always enjoy each other's company. I hope we aren't too busy and that our love will never die out. But remember, love isn't a butterflies in your stomach feeling. It's a hard commitment, but all the effort put in will be worth it, lol. Am I making sense? Ah, I'm going to be so embarrassed when you read this. Okay, I love you so much. 
by 15 year old almost 16 sally kim <laughs> oh my god this is so funny oh my gosh i have a note in the back i hope my wedding was big outdoor wedding nope good weather yes i think so pretty lace flowy wedding dress nope lots of colorful flowers and lights and candles i would take out the colorful but other than that we do have a lot of flowers and candles and natural light big pretty wedding cake we're not even doing a wedding cake i don't even like cake this is hilarious oh man this is so funny i'm gonna bring this on the wedding day and give it to him. I think he would laugh. Uh, <laughs> I'm such a crybaby. <laughs> I'm like writing my vows on my phone before I write it out in my little book. I'm crying so much. Ugh. I'm gonna cry so much on the wedding day. I already know it. I'm such a crybaby. Ugh. As of now, August 24th, 12.53 p.m., I don't think I'll cry. At all? Yeah. I don't think a tear will fall down. I think a tear will well up when we sing the goodness of God. <laughs> and then maybe when I say just I do. And then when I hug my mom at the honoring or dance. But no yeah. tear will fall. But no tear will ever drop in my face. I don't think I'll tear up when Sally walks in. Oh. <laughs> I'll just be so happy. <laughs> anyway, I saw her already. We'll see. Yeah, that's my bet. I honestly believe you. Huh? I believe yeah, you. Yeah, I believe myself. <laughs>